the team keep it clean we know just how powerful uh, and influential the media is especially when it comes to lamar jackson we've seen it so many times when the media will want to prop up a player specifically a quarterback and they'll do that but in the process they will be tearing down lamar jackson we've seen it time and time again we've seen it year after year after year that's why when i saw this i was surprised because it was actually that being done but in reverse order and i'll explain in a bit pff pff who we know they have a grading system that is 1000 percent accurate they never make any mistakes they never have any controversial grades that they give to players no matter how great or no matter how bad players play pff their number system is always on point wink uh, but anyway pff they put out a, a tweet uh, and it says, which of these QBs deserves the biggest contract? And it is contract time for some significant quarterbacks in the NFL. And the, the QBs that were pictured from left to right, uh, it was Jalen Hurts, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, and Lamar Jackson. And you could make a case. You could make a case for any one of these QBs being uh, deserving of the biggest contract. For Jalen Hurts, you could say, hey, Jalen Hurts, he literally just took his team to the Super Bowl, and he did so much to where he put his team in position to win. He did have that fumble that they lost. It ended up being a touchdown. But still, Jalen Hurts, he got there, and that matters. Then you could go to Joe Burrow. You could say, oh, Joe Burrow, for every season that he's finished, he's had his team competing to either play in a Super Bowl or actually in the Super Bowl. Last year, they, well, this past season, they went to the AFC Championship. In the previous year, they were actually in the Super Bowl. And then you go to Justin Herbert, and you could say, well, he puts up a lot of passing yards, so that's nice. And then you move on to Lamar Jackson. <laughs> you could say, hey, when Lamar Jackson, he finishes the season, the Ravens are guaranteed a spot in the playoffs. And Lamar Jackson is asked to not only be the leading passer, but the leading rusher every single year for his Baltimore Ravens. And he does a lot more with a lot less. He's asked to do a lot more with a lot less weapons around him, especially than these other quarterbacks have. So depending on who you ask, they could make a case for each of those four quarterbacks and why they are deserving of the biggest contract. But C.J. Gardner-Johnson, <laughs> I don't know what his story is. I, I, I don't know what his situation, I, I don't know what it is. But for some reason, wherever he leaves, whatever team he leaves, it's like a bridge is burnt or something like that. He left or got traded from New Orleans and... I see a lot of New Orleans fans, they just are not feeling him at all. But then really for recently with the Eagles, there was a lot of discrepancy about what happened with him and the Eagles and his departure from the Eagles, um, that they offered him this contract, but the contract wasn't exactly what he said it was. Then he ended up only taking like a one-year deal to sign with the Lions. Um, and he has been taking some shots at the Eagles back and forth and whatnot. Uh, I don't know exactly what went wrong, but something went wrong. And you know, he ain't feeling Philly no more. Um, but anyway, he had quote tweeted this PFF tweet. And the, again, the one it, it asked, which of these QBs deserves the biggest contract? And he said, Lamar Jackson. Now, that he could be saying Lamar Jackson for one of two reasons. First reason, actually one of three reasons. First reason, one, because he believes that Lamar Jackson is deserving of the biggest contract out of these four quarterbacks he could believe that lamar jackson should be next up he should be the highest paid and he deserves his bread that could be him uh really believing that and it could also be him just advocating for the player because we know lamar is up against a lot right now a whole, whole lot right now um so this could be cj gardner johnson just really having his back or number two <laughs> It could be him taking another shot at his previous team, the Philadelphia Eagles. And because, again, it, it, it didn't end so sweet there. It, it, it really didn't. Um, and then number three, it could just be a combination of both. He could really believe that Lamar Jackson is deserving, but at the same time, he want, he want to let it, the world know, like, hey, it's not Jalen Hurts, it's Lamar Jackson. That's why I, I felt like this was interesting because it's like, again, we're so used to the media propping up one guy and tearing Lamar Jackson down. That this, somebody is propping up Lamar Jackson. But it seems like there's no confirmation, but if you read between all the lines that C.J. Gardner-Johnson has been drawing recently, then you can see, like, it seems like he's propping, propping up LJ, which is great, 
but he's tearing down Jalen Hurts in the process. Now, my opinion, you, you, you don't got to tear anybody down just to prop somebody else up. I, I don't think it's right when people would do it with Lamar Jackson and other quarterbacks. And even on the flip side, I don't think it should be done for Lamar Jackson with other quarterbacks, too. If somebody deserves their props, hey, get them their props. Get them whatever praise, whatever accolades, and whatever, whatever recognition, uh, so to speak, that they deserve. Give them that. But and, and that's just in life in general. You ain't got to be like, oh, man, well, you're great, but that guy sucks. Like, for what? For what? If you feel like somebody is good at something or great, so, hey, you're great at what you do. I really appreciate your work. I admire you. Da, 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 da. That's cool. You ain't got to tear nobody else down in the process. You can continue to build each other up. But I, I just thought that this was uh, interesting from Mr. C.J. Gardner-Johnson. And then, at the same time, the graphic. The graphic stuck out to me because which QB do y'all feel deserves the biggest contract out of those four? Because all of them up, I don't know why they ain't put two on this list, too. I mean, two, two is eligible for a contract extension as well. You could have included them, too. But anyway, which QB do y'all feel like deserves the biggest contract? Put, put in the comment section. Now, I'm curious to know everybody's thoughts on that. And be honest. Be honest. Because I want to hear it. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. appreciate y'all. We out.